The race for the White House now is your voice, your vote, with just 19 days to go. And things are heating up even more after that ferocious second debate. One of Mitt Romney's sons letting loose on how he really feels about President Obama overnight. And ABC's David Muir is here with the details. Good morning, David. Hey, George, good morning to you. The campaign telling me this morning that Romney's son, Tag, was only joking about how frustrating this whole process could be for the family when he told a radio host that while watching that debate, he wanted to go down and take a swing at the president. Overnight, a new sign of just how contentious this race has become. One of Mitt Romney's sons and trusted campaign advisors, Tag Romney, telling a radio host watching that debate made him want to take a swing at the president. What is it like for you to hear the president of the United States call your dad a liar? Jump out of your seat and you want to rush down the debate stage and take a swing at him. But you know you can't do that because, uh, uh, well, first because there's a lot of secret service between you and him, but also because this, this is the nature of the process. The comments come after a duel of sorts in that town hall debate. At times, the president and Mitt Romney standing just feet apart, talking over one another, each dismissing the other. Not true, Governor Romney. So how much did you cut him? Not true. The president never called Romney a, quote, liar. But overnight, the president did take aim at something Mitt Romney said at the debate, an answer that's now taken on a life of its own. When talking about hiring women as governor. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. We don't have to order up some binders to find qualified, talented, driven young women. The Romney campaign arguing it's a distraction from the real issue most important to women, the economy, arguing 3.6 million more women in poverty. This president has failed America's women. Still overnight, the late night comics with a binder full of jokes. He said he had, quote, binders full of women. His policy toward women is clear. We have to alphabetize them. We... <laughs> Now, on the binder blunder, Governor Romney tweeting out, I understand the challenges women face and want to make it easier for them in the workplace. Actually tweeting a link to testimonials from women who work with him as governor. Both sides, George, with an intense focus on women now who could decide the factor, be the deciding factor, I should say, come election day. No 